Hey guys, it's Wilson here. Today we are going to be shooting something a little bit differently. We're doing a reaction video and this is coming straight from our director, Jason, the guy behind the camera. It's something that we are doing a little bit more fun, less dry and yeah. So today we are going to be reacting to crazy customers be like. So let's get going. New video, y'all. Make sure you the video with a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment, let me know what your favorite part of the video is. And turn those post notifications on. If we get 25,000 likes, I'm gonna drop my next video. Hey. Make sure you guys like this video just like how they are telling their subscribers to like the video. And let's get going. Enjoy. All right, thanks for coming. Have a nice day. Hey, cop. All markers cleaned up. You can go ahead and clock out. All right, thanks, boss. Table for one, please. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but we're closed. What you mean you're closed? Like, we're no longer serving customers. But if you come tomorrow, I'll be happy to. No, 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 your site specifically says you're closed at 12 o'clock. <laughs> sir, it's a lesson. It is so funny because for me, myself, and me and my wife, we, we're we actually guilty of being a crazy customer because we would actually go to a restaurant like 10 minutes or five minutes before they close. And oftentimes you'd be like, hey, can you please let us in? Can you just let us have this meal because we're craving for it? And I'm definitely very, very guilty of it. And the funny thing is I'm actually, uh, on the other side and on the other end as a uh, as an operator as a restaurant operator I also have experience dealing with crazy customers like this all the time um, so it's really interesting to be able to see how someone actually plays this out but nonetheless do you let them in? what's that? do you let them in? I do let them in I, I, I am guilty because when I used to work in the restaurant industry, I don't let them in. I, I yeah, I, I just tell them we're, we're closed, yeah. But then usually that is when the, the owners are not there. And um, yeah, I, I'm guilty, guys. <laughs> but when I'm the owner, I would, I would always be like, yo, you gotta make that last buck. That could be a $20 ticket. Take them, take them, because that $20 ticket can easily pay for that person's 10 buck salary so as an owner it's funny actually being able to see the different roles that you play whether you're the owner or the cashier or the customer before 12 last i checked now i demand service look so you're gonna have to wait until tomorrow just eat somewhere else we're not about it of course we'll service here my employee will get right on that <laughs> it is so funny because this whole script is about the three characters and all three characters i truly understand which is why this video is actually quite interesting. Mr. Boss, take a seat wherever you like. Thank you. Dang. <laughs> All right, can I start you off with a drink? Uh, yeah, I'll take an extra medium water with a little bit of all of You said a medium water, right? Not nah, extra medium. And also get a million regular kid sizes here. Well, nah, 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 I didn't ask for a regular kid size. I said I want an extra medium drink. But we don't have extra medium, sir. Are you denying me, sir? No, just don't have this ridiculous. Manager, manager, you know what? Go ahead and call. He's gonna say the same thing. Sir. That is so funny. I I was never like a crazy customer like him before, but um I totally can relate to that because when people come in and ask for ice cream, they're like, hey, you know what? I want I want an extra large ice cream. And when we give them ice cream, we're like, hey, how come this ice cream is so big? And we I we'd be like super confused because they ordered an extra large ice cream and we're like what the hell is an extra large ice cream so we just doubled up the portion charged them double and they're like complaining about the size of the ice cream because it's about to topple over from their cup yet they ordered an extra large ice cream i, I don't uh, care sir, here's your drink how did you cut if i can call me here again it's your job on the line well, mr boss don't make me come in here again all right you ready to order yes i am let's get the chicken parmesan okay by the way, especially today's festival, I did a visit with the side. Hold up, I know you're not telling me why I want to order. I'm not, I'm just reading off the specials. But I already told you what I wanted, am I wrong? I mean, yeah, but... Nah, nah, ain't no but. <laughs> okay? I know you're not rolling your eyes. Yeah, you manager. Manager over here. Uh, that won't be necessary, sir. I'm gonna go get your food right away. Um, excuse me, sir, is my food almost here, too? Oh, I'm sorry, I'll bring your soup. <sighs> Alright, here you go, sir. Thank you, I appreciate it. Hold up, hold up, why is he getting this food before me? That is exactly how I feel all the time when I go dine at restaurants is that it's funny because every time I'm at a restaurant, I kind of like gaze around like, hey, you know what? 
how long has these people have been there? What are they ordering? And I often times I get upset because I would order and this guy comes in after me, he places his order and he gets his food first. And that's what really, really gets to me is like when this guy comes in 10 minutes after me and he gets his food first and then my wife goes yapping, yapping, yap and I go yap, 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 yap. But usually we are a little bit nicer customers. We never really tell the waiters that, you know what, why is their food here already? Uh, why is our food not here? Um, but definitely it, it's something that always goes through my mind all the time. It's like something that is bothering me. It's, it's crazy actually to think that in perspective, how crazy these customers look and, and then yet you're guilty of having these thoughts. He was here first. Hey, I've been sitting here waiting the whole five minutes for my chicken parm, okay? That's unacceptable. Now, if I don't get my pop parm soon, we're gonna have a problem. Sir, can you please give me a break? I got it right here. Why don't you do a break when you give me my chicken parm? Oh my God. Thank you. Sir, it's slower than T-Mobile. Is that all? Yes, you can stop hovering over my food now. Yes, what can I do for you? This food? Yeah. I hate it. I want something else. You ate the whole thing. Hey, last I checked, if you don't like something you ordered, you can get something else. Am I wrong? Yeah. This is a very typical a-hole that happens all the time at our ice cream shop. I'm not even kidding you. They would finish half a cup of ice cream and they come over, they're like, you know what? I don't really like this flavor. It tastes wonky. And yet we have, and they have this expectation for us to give them a new ice cream free of charge. But this stuff actually happens. Like, this guy's good. Hey, watch yourself. I had to try to make sure I didn't like it first. It's not my fault you can't cook. Okay, that's it. I'm not getting you another meal without a complimentary dessert. What can I get for you, sir? I'll take another chicken parm and cheesecake. But you just said, <sighs> right away, sir. All right, here you go, sir. Thank you. All right, you ready for the check? Yes, I am. All right, here. Thank you. Is this a skip card? Hey, oh, don't. Okay, okay, what's going on here? Your employee threw spaghetti at me when I was trying to leave. Nah, boss, I can explain. Kyle, you're fired. Nah, we don't pay you $2 an hour for this. Get your stuff and go. Wow, amazing video. I actually thoroughly enjoyed reacting to this, but it's a little bit kind of yeah, I think, you know what, Kyle did an amazing job actually portraying these crazy customers and if there's only one lesson you guys can take away from this, it is to always, always back up your staff given the fact that they are doing the right thing because customers are always crazy. There's so many crazy customers out there and as owners, if you always just go by the motto of customers are always right, then unfortunately you're going to back that motto up sacrificing the loyalty from your staff. And why is that the case? It is because your staff would feel that, you know what, you're gonna throw me under the bus regardless. So why would I have and give you any loyalty? Why would I wanna stay at a restaurant that doesn't back me up? Whereas if your if you're owner and if the, the manager backs up the staff and if they feel supported, if they feel that they can do the right thing, they can and be empowered to say no to crazy customers that are out there. There are so many crazy customers out there. And if they feel that they're being taken care of, then the staff is going to stay there much, much longer. You're going to have much more loyalty from the staff. You're going to have much more happy staff to help you build your restaurant. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you let me know, is this the type of video that you want to watch? Something a little bit lighter, something a little bit more engaging. If it is, make sure you smash the like button and let me know in the comment section below how we can improve. Until then, see you guys in the next video.